Cash credit. Terms and conditions apply. Well, we are getting ready to head down to Piqua, Ohio. Me and a wife here rocking out the shirts. Going to see a gentleman who is a subscriber and uh, got a hold of me through the Facebook and said, hey, I've got one of those um, turbo wings sitting out in my shed if you'd like it. I said, well, it's a possibility. He showed me some measurements. So he measured it up, sent it. He's like, yeah, bring me a couple shirts and chores. And then he messaged me back later and sent me the measurements. He's like, you know what? Just come down and get it. You can have it. I don't even care. So I'm like, okay, I'll still bring you the shirts. I think that's fair trade. So we are getting ready to head down 75 in the big wagon. I called him up earlier and I said, do you think it'll fit in a big wagon? He said, yeah, it should fit in a big wagon. So we're gonna take the big wagon down. It's about um, hour and 45 minutes away from the house. We're gonna go pick that up because when I get back here, I'm gonna be doing some stuff to these things because uh, I need to do some stuff. And I figured I don't have a turbo wing for that thing. If uh, it'll go up there, it'll go up there. I'll mock it up, see if it'll work. If it won't work, it won't work. But uh, at least we'll see. Because um, why not? Could help me with save some fuel. I don't know, but you never know. So that's what we're doing right now. The big wagon. Taking a trip. On the show. On the Chad Tegan YouTube channel. fun yeah you weren't even paying attention no. try and get the 75 my end we got the old turbo wing loaded up here folks we um already popped down and got her ran up to uh sydney here because we're gonna stop back in alignment and get some qp but um gas was cheapest here 514 for 93 premium oh, we got seven gallons we're at half tank we could have made her back home but um you know I figured why as well. She says you're gonna pay it either way somewhere, so. Oh, two over, I ain't perfect. But yeah, it was nice meeting Michael and uh, stopped chat with him for probably about 15 minutes and then we peeled out because he was uh, babysitting his grandkid. So we just, uh, you know, did the thing. Did the thing, man. So we talked to him for a little bit and hung out and was that? Popped out. I said, I didn't clean it up or nothing. And I said, that's fine. I'll clean her up. So we'll get her home and try to sex her up and see what we can't do with it. Throw it up on top of the truck and mount it. Or uh, mock it up. These brackets are broke right here, which I could show you that some other time. But to be honest with you, I'm not sure I would even use these. Um, because that is good enough. I'll probably just fab something up. Get some, uh, some kind of channel or whatnot. And bolt it down and do it to it. So... I guess once we get home, um, we'll mock her up and see what happens with it. We need one of the mugs. No. This place is cute, huh? I'd rather be eating a cupy.
fashion, man. Look at that shit. Look at that damn shit. Look at them hats. I need one of them hats. And you got pie? I wonder if that's fresh. Fresh baked pie. That's what I'm talking about. Old school, baby. No beer. I'll have to drink a Mountain Dew. Let's get crazy. Let's get nuts. A line out there. But it was wigging out there because uh, if you look up there, the burgers are only 275. And uh, that's what she said. She's gonna make a special Miracle Whip lettuce tomato, and that's it. At home. how cute this place is. I'll walk back. Check out the little sign out there. Boom. So cute. There's a place called Happy Days too. I think it's franchise around here too. We have to hit that up next. I doubt they probably have about the same kind of stuff. She probably ain't gonna be hungry. But um, I guess we'll see. And that line has just been backed up the whole time. Drive through. Big time deal, man. Morning folks, hi today, the next day. Made her back with the turbo wing and stuff. Um, didn't really do much after we ate the QP, just came home and unloaded her, hung out, watched the show, and then ended up passing out. Which is fine, because it's bright and early. Oh, the sun ain't even hit the truck yet. Look at that damn squirrel, man. Get that damn, where he going? Some bitch. There's that turbo wing right there on the ground, my. That's how far it made it. But uh, we're gonna move this thing right here. We haven't moved this thing in, um, well, since we took it on that trip to go over to that radiator shop. So it has been a super hot minute. Um, hopefully it'll start. Um, because it hasn't started in so long, I doubt. I doubt anything was going to where it would not start or something, you know. But, man, look at that little critter's all up on here. Let's get down here and flip this air valve because I want to move it. Um, I want the blue truck right here because that's the truck I'm going to work on. Do that radiator. While I'm doing that, I got some other things too. And we'll get that air thing up there and mock that up and see if it'll... Go up here or not, but let's climb up in here real quick and cross our fingers. And hope that this thing will fire up. Air's all out the seat and stuff, you know. So I don't I don't know. No, so far.
You know, it's odd. I um, had filled that reservoir full of water before we left and went over there to get the thing checked out. Stuck my finger in there the other day and it's still almost full. So I thought to myself, you gotta be kidding me. But I know that bitch would piss out here one of these days or sometime. So I'm just gonna do one truck at a time because I might, I might run that down the road since I'm sober and um, you know, might as well, huh? I'll let that thing run for a while. Probably needed to. That smoke coming off here. Still sounds good. Still sounds like it did before I parked it. So that's pretty much gonna come right here. I don't wanna do them side by side because I talked to my buddy Don McCord on the phone on Saturday because he's been helping me out with uh, finding another radiator for well the green truck. And then I end up getting one too. So I got one for the blue truck too, just because. Figure I might as well do them both. Because it's always had some kind of like, you know, the corks have always leaked a little bit, so it's what needed to be done. He told me, you know, that I, I don't need to take the grill out. And that I can pull that thing out using the crossbar on the cab if it's jacked all the way up and tipped all the way over. Uh, just use a come along, jack it up, swing it. He said to swing it over on the passenger tire and then drop it off there. And I thought, he said it was a son of a bitch to get it off the tire and down. And then he had to have someone help him get it back up on the tire when he put it back in. So while well, I got that Cushman, it's right there. It's about level, I, that dump bed. He's like, yeah, that's what I was thinking to suggest you to use that because that would be, you know, it's about the same height as the tire and I can just slide it right on there. And then when it comes to, I can just slide it right off. I don't have to worry about lifting it up. I mean, I should be able to finagle it in the back and finagle it out of the back of that, no problem, because it's, it's like probably 300 pounds, he said, with everything on it. So uh, I should be able to wiggle it around and make it work. I mean, I'll use boards and stuff if I need to, to slide it up and down and, you know, two wheel cart to move it around, but we're getting started on that. I wanted to get started early because <clears throat> the sun will be coming out here shortly. My voice is cracking because I just got up and um, I'll be taking a beat. So we'll see what we do. Um, first thing I got to do is get these things moved around so I can get this radiator fluid drained out and then I got some other surprises for you we'll get into once I get in there because I'm going to have to move a ton of shit around but uh, once I get it moved we'll uh, start pulling some shit because I'm actually going to pull the seat out I'm going to pull both the seats out actually so I got some stuff to do well, this thing's been running for a minute we ain't got no bags yet Oh, the little bags are full though. I wonder if there's something, something stuck somewhere. Not getting air. Get the air. Come on. I don't know. I don't know. Let's fire this truck up though, so we can get it running. That way we can move this one. And when we get back, we can move this one. Cause uh, we need to move it. That's all wet down there. All it been there wet still. So something's going on. Just a mess. Just a mess. A little bit of a different view there. You see. Mm -hmm. A bit colder than what it likes. That stuff. Warm up here. 
One nice thing about the blue chuck is you don't have to worry about that kind of crap. All this thinks these brakes are probably going to be like stiff and frozen too and jacking around. Oh, there goes that. So there's got to be some clog somewhere in here for that not to um, be filling up like that. Uh, so weird. Well, let's get in and move the thing around a little bit. Because, like I said, the brakes are probably that seat filled up, boo. Bring it here around. This thing needs to get some work done to it too, and we need to be running this thing too. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, I love it. The only one that not so far. He's working for the weekend. Boom, flash, boom, flash. Okay, we got bags, so whatever was going on, we got bags now. We good. We good. All right, let's uh, let's run this down the road. Let's see if I can see anything in the road. Take her down the road. It builds air gray. It builds air gray. That's where you're gonna ride right there. So hopefully your view's cool, man. I don't know what it would be like if I um uh, you don't need these on. Stuck you back here. You'd probably get bounced all over, but it's not bad, huh? On a little tripod. 
See, that's where you usually sit on the GoPro, but you're on a camera phone right now. like this on her phone driving. Just don't care. She just don't care. Love it. So a chick yesterday when we were driving. Oh my gosh, she was pissing me off so bad down 75. Woo! She was doing this number the whole freaking time. Just doing this. Keep on riding my ass, catch up on my ass, look. But she was doing this the whole time. Probably for five miles. pile of stones we were sitting here digging when uh we stuck here for a minute 
Got that tire my spinning right there. Look at that. Oh. I'll fix that later, maybe. Hey, we got the trucks moved here. So that's nice. And um, now we can start doing some things. Like uh, go back in and get our morning coffee that we've neglected to finish. Just like it used to be. Just like it used to be. Well, before we um, get to taking things apart and stuff and jacking shit up, I saw my filters from the other day. I got, um, these are for the cat. Well, these are for the, the blue truck. The, the um, coolant filter right here, because I have one up there for the green truck. And then there's the filters for the blue truck, the oil filters if I need them. So then I got um, two oil filters for Frank and two fuel filters for Frank too. Don't have any fuel filters for it. And I got a wrench. So hopefully I can get that, um, that one off on the blue truck here when I do all that stuff. I grabbed those the other day. Um, I got uh, some hardware and shit in here. I got a nice, that's for something else. This little dustpan there. I got this cable right here because it's got these nice hooks. So I figure I'm going to wrap this up around the thing because I've got to come along right here. But um, this something was jacked up on this. I can't remember what. I thought I bent something because I'd use this for, um, oh yeah, right here. See this right here? That's all jacked up. So I bought another one, another new come along, and I've got some nice floor to match the, um, the dash for the blue truck because I always talked about doing this too in the summer, and I've got a nice piece of wood that I can put under. Uh, the wood needs changed under the seat in the blue truck, and we'll get into that once we get her jacked up. We got... One radiator, two radiator. Uh, we got six jugs of uh, coolant, and we've got a four case of 15W40 that I'd put in the green truck. That way I've got oil, you know, for the next time I need to do oil change, and I've got a box full of stuff right there. And then, of course, we've got that air ride that's sitting back there. So that will be something that I'm going to do too because I plan on doing everything right now uh, i've been waiting and putting things off but um i feel like it i mean my lower back's already hurting from just thinking about pulling that seat and all the heavy lifting i'm gonna do but it's what it is so it's one of the things it's just time to get started now so get get that seat out i'm gonna get that seat out and um I'll pull that jump seat too, but now I've got to kind of rearrange the place because I don't really have any room for shit once I do get it out because those things are so big and gaudy. I guess I can come, I'll just put them right here. I'll just come and bring them over here and put them right here. Right there between the cars will work. Right there. Because she is leaving tomorrow. She's going to go watch the baby. And then Friday she has to work and cut hair. So I'm going to have a couple nice days here just to bang it out. I don't think it's supposed to be windy any. So I'm going to end up jacking that cab all the way over the blue truck. And I don't think I have to worry about wind ripping it around. Hopefully I can get that radiator swapped out in one day. And it doesn't take me too long to do. And then I'll be able to move on to the rest of the wood flooring and stuff like that. Wind one mile per hour wind course it went to a freaking add two mile three mile four mile no wind today so it's got to be this the cab's got to go over and get done well we got her cleaned out all you know what i mean everything i needed to get pulled was pulled uh both side boxes um cb antenna or not the antenna but the mic cord and everything from the back all my stuff that could fall forward so we're just getting the seat out now which is always fun because you gotta wobble and bend down and reach and to be honest with you.
Two chai chain, pulling that one. Not pulling that one. Pulled the first one, but not that one. It's always fun to maneuver and waggle around to get these out. Especially when you can't find a freaking bolt. That's one good thing about me is I'm lanky and I can reach the shit. You know what I mean? It'd be nice to get some hardwood down in here, sex us up. Just a little bit. I mean, we'll still leave it. Throw some paint down here and stuff, you know. Clean some things up. This thing hasn't had that kind of stuff for a hot-ass minute, so do some things like that for it. Sex it up a little bit. Because it needs it. deserves it. Especially if we're going to turn this into an all-time show truck someday. You know what I mean? Nice paint, fancy paint job on it and stuff. And then um, just run it to shows after we get it comfortable enough to where we want to do that. If we get uh, the monster going. I'll be right back. Well, this old boy's got a bunch of lube on it from when, uh, when I was doing those oil lines on Frank Frankenstein truck now, what you freaking rip, rip that out of my freaking hand Got her broke free. Finally got that bitch broke free. I hurt my hand. That's not what I wanted to do. Now this can come out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now I can go take the jump seat out. And honestly, this thing's just going to get plopped out real quick. The door open some more. Tuck this airline up in here or something. <coughs> so we ain't worried about it. Let's see. I don't remember the last time this thing was out. But it's what it is. Hopefully we don't dump. Um, we don't bother you. Oh, we can't go too far that way. Come on. Ugh. It's stuck to the uh, shit right here. There we go. Let's get that up. Let's get that up. Get off of there. Oh, Jesus. H freaking priming. Take a seat up. It's a stupid ass thing. What? Um, go put them back by the onions in that one. This stupid ass thing unstuck. This whole freaking mover on. I need it shoved forward just a skosh. There we go. Now we're rock and rolling. Now we're rock and roll. Get that thing out of there. Alrighty. Should be able to just tip her out. Just like that. Catch on now. Okay. All right. Bam. Just like that. Whew. Heavier than what I'd like it to be. This one sucks. Those Boston ones ain't even that heavy. This is out.
Well, it's 10 right now. So let's get this thing jacked up all the way over center, 90 degrees. So we can um, start draining some fluid out and get to it because we got both the seats out there sitting in the garage. So we're doing it. Well, it's starting to go, but um, kind of stopped itself. Just wanted to make sure the shifter was out of the way and it wasn't going to get caught, you know. There it goes. Nice and slow, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's always sketchy and scary. Doing that. <coughs> right there. Look at this shit. Look at this shit right there, man. That's how we're going to do it, though. We're going to just hook up onto that. He said that he just used this right here where this goes in. Because you got um, this bar right here comes right here. He said he just hooked up to this guy and used it to jack it up. Pulled it. And... uh swung it over right here and then just flopped her down so that's what we're gonna do we'll get a good look in here see some things we got antifreeze and coolant coming from this spot right here but that's not what's um causing all the blowout here because we you know we already figured it was this stuff so Shit right in here so we'll figure out what it is if it's whether it's in here 
or where it's at because all that stuff looks like it's ate out but we uh we have figured out either way it could be it could be the radiator like in this region you know what i mean it could be blowing out from over the side so we'll see it's time to start tearing her apart we got her draining out here into her bucket uh I'll have to tie it off here real quick cool, real quick so we ain't uh you know dumping too much heavy shit got some empty jugs here that i'm going to fill up that way if uh the stuff's clean enough i don't know i may i may reuse it uh we'll check the filter and see how it looks and uh, if the bottom of the bucket's all crubby you know what i mean we ain't gonna reuse it but so far she draining out so let's go up here and get some lube on some things because we're gonna need to get some things unhooked here so we can pull her back and stuff because we don't want this bar and shit sorry i'm climbing around and stuff and i got you in one hand we don't want this bar and shit right here this guy right here we're gonna have to break him free because we're gonna unhook him. We're gonna unhook this right there. Jay, I don't know what the... This guy probably don't need no lube. This guy probably don't need no lube. This guy probably don't need no lube. Basically those right there. Um, Debating on whether to take the shroud off. I'll probably just wait and take the shroud off when I get it. Uh, I should be able to, I don't know. I may need to unhook the shroud now. I don't, um, this thing ain't just going to lift straight up with that shroud on. So I'm probably going to end up pulling this now, which it looks like it's just one. I don't, okay, those just must tap in there because there ain't, I don't know how fuck you're even supposed to, you know, those are just tappers probably. Get in that frame to be able to get those out. So let's throw some junk on here, even though we probably don't need to. We're probably just making a mess, but we'll, um. We'll throw it on there anyways. This guy right here is gonna need to come off, which I don't know if this is the same type of situation or not. And we'll go over to the other side here. This hose and all that crap can just stay on. I'm not really too worried about that. You know, we don't need to deal with that shit until later. And it's just those two bolts on the other side that um, we'll have to deal with. You know what I mean? Climb around while that filled up about three and three and a half jugs of coolant. So let's see what we got going on here. Bill is bright. The sun is bright. Oh God, I hope there's no more down there. Good. I don't look like it. But one nice thing about this is it's just the um it's just a radiator there's no intercooler or anything like that so the green truck's going to be more of a pain in the butt because it's got that intercooler and stuff but should be able to break that free and um start getting that stuff loose that way it's not on there because what i'll do is i'll just take this and i'll just shove it back and then Get that big guy broke free up there. And then we'll be able to do it. We'll be able to start pulling it. You know, main. That's what I'm talking about. Well, that's draining out. This said three quarters. So let's see if we can get this thing to break free. Any of this was spinning, so I had to go grab another one real quick. Oh my God. Come on, baby. I don't know i don't i don't i don't remember if i loosened this end up or if i loosened the other side up when i had to change out that um i may have done the other side to be honest with you i feel like that would be making it tight Ugh. well we don't want to take this whole freaking bar with us i can tell you that much right now when we do this this might be one of the things that... Ugh. Oh my God. We have to get like a um, breaker bar on it or some shit. This, she don't, she don't want to 
move at all. I mean, oh God. I guess I should have lubed this last week, huh? That would have made sense, right? You just gotta do the stuff that makes sense, right? I have to get something on there. And the thing will turn free. Don't necessarily want to set it on that. I'll figure something out here. Because uh, we're already stuck at crossroads. We get a board and stick right here. That way it lays on this and it's level. Folds it up. Something right here. The old tube and crank it out. Yeah. Actually, what if I could just unhook that? And then that hooks up with two right there. So we don't want to do that. <clears throat> Jesus H. No. Nope. This ain't gonna be fun. Well, that's what we got going down. Um liquid launch here because it's noon finally got those um bolts broke free on that um that rod so now the only thing i need to do is get under the cab and there's two bolts which we'll go over there in a second and i gotta undo those and i should be able to move that thing back and forth freely now i'm reading in this book because you know i've got this handy dandy manual here this kenworth manual Let's spin you around yeah, real quick. In this section right here, cooling system, okay, talks about maintenance, procedures, etc. etc. fan shrouds for radiator shrouds, anything like that, which would be cool if they was on here, but they don't this one don't have it, you know. Look at that. Boom. You just pop that in those shrouds. That would be sick, because then you wouldn't worry about um, you know the winter front and stuff, but uh, we got the winter front. So anywho, this actually has instructions on how to pull this radiator. And it goes, removal. In some cases, the radiator may have to be removed through cleaning specialized repairs. Okay. For air conditioning, drain cover, blah, blah, splat. Truck is equipped with air out with shutter, but don't need to bleed it. Loosen low radiator hose clamps. Move bolts securing the two radiator mount pads from the front cross member. On some models, there's four, but this one only has two. To gain access to the radiator for hoisting. Tilt the cab to the full open position. Got him. Um, okay, attach two lifting eyes that are fabricated to the front tank bolt pattern each eye should be attached with these two bolts so they basically want you to take a chain attach two bolts and lift it that way some anchor brackets for the attachment radiator support rod center the tank do not provide sufficient strength to ensure lifting the radiator safely from this point okay so we'll do something else maybe we'll um I've got some chains and shit over here, so maybe we'll get those out and we'll see what we got to do and attach something because we might be able to, you know, figure something out that way we don't, you know, we don't want to. Remove the radiator supporting rods, hoist the radiator assembly up and away from the truck. Be careful to clear the fan shroud from the fan blades. Now, I've got all that fan shroud unhooked. Let's go out there, get my beer. But those um, bolts are 15 16 which I got the bolt. And uh, Big Chachi's right here, so we'll take him and we'll just chuck him down here because we got some rubber laying down right now so we can lay down on him. And uh, we almost got all of the coolant drained out, but it's odd because there's still some drips and stuff coming from here, this guy up here. So I threw a bag over the um, alternator because i don't need that i mean it's already gotten some cooling on there but that thing's crazy and i think it's because that's probably sitting at the back of that the way it, it kind of sits a little bit of at an angle so you know already got the shroud unhooked all the bolts for that there's two down at the bottom here which you probably can't see and it's extremely hard like i try to get those little ratchets down in there and i can't get them down in there to break those free so what i plan on doing is hooking this up to where 
I can swing it up some, and I don't see anything what they're talking about where this is supposed to hook to, but I do have, there's some stuff right here that I can hook to, you know, but that's like the best, the best thing. They say that's not sufficient. We're going to find out because uh, that's the kind of guy we are, but I like, I don't want to unhook all this stuff. I just want to be able to unhook this shroud if I need to, and then I'll lift it up to a certain amount, an area to where I can get something down in there and get those broke free because those aren't that bad. Those bolts come out of there easily um when i changed the water pump out a few years ago they just plopped out like it wasn't anybody's business and yeah all this stuff up here is still leaking and whatnot but um just you know use the old spray the old um god pb blaster not the cyclo breakaway that james pretty would use but uh the pb blasters because that's what's big and popular up here Kind of looks cool tilted forward like that. But, yeah, that rod's all unhooked and stuff. And I do have this guy right here, this um clutch linkage, which is a pain in the butt. I, I hope I don't have to um, unhook all that stuff. If I, if I do, I can. It's not a big deal. I just don't want to have to if I don't have to. So hopefully I can lift this up enough to where I can swing it over to the other side to just get around that stuff and not have to deal with it. Once I get it to a certain point, because there is some uh, like pinch points in here with the way that this bracket and stuff. And I don't know what all you can see. I can see some things. The bottom of this bracket and stuff where those hooked together are. So we'll see what's going to happen. But yeah, I mean, from this point, you can't see any of what they're talking about to hook anything. And there's no way I'm just throwing, you know, something in there. That's I don't know. I don't know so i don't know i mean get around the other side and there's there's those holes there's a hole on each side and i wonder if that's what they're talking about to hook something in there but uh there's no point to hook up any kind of screws or bolts or anything so i'm gonna get under there and i'm gonna unhook those down here because there's these two bolts what they're talking about it's hooked up to the frame and right there's one Okay, he's got the juice on him. The other one's just on the other side of that guy. Uh, I think you can see him. I think I can see him in there, right there. See him right there. Just boom, pop those off. And then I should be able to, well, obviously I gotta, I'm gonna unhook that right there. Cause that's, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm not unhooking those four bolts. I'm going to unhook that uh, chunk of hose right there, and I'm taking that whole thing with me probably because I really don't feel like undoing those four bolts. I'm almost positive there's probably some kind of gasket in there, and I'm not trying to tear that up, so I'll just use that um, as somewhat of a guide. I don't know. We'll see, I guess, what's going to happen. What's going down? I think I'll use it like that because... um. I'll be able to use that kind of and move it back and forth when I need to drop it down. So we'll see. Well, everything's loose here and we're getting all broke free. And um, look at that guy. Look at that guy right there. He's all rusty and nasty. Let's hook you up right here. Hopefully I'm not in the way. I'm sure I'll probably get in the way. But um, I don't know. Yeah, shit, man. We're rocking back and forth. Get that thing off, man. I mean, at least it's turning some, right? Okay. There we go. Get off there. Okay. Yeah. Get them off. Get them off there. Ooh. Ooh, Lord. This hose will get replaced, even though it doesn't look, it's not too bad but it'll get replaced. So basically, they're saying not to hook up to here, like those bolts are undone down there. So I can start lifting it up. But like I I told you, I couldn't really, um, I couldn't really see a good place to, other than up in front here, there's these two, um, these two holes right here, right in here. Now, if I'm supposed to hook to those on the frame, 
you know, I probably could. So that's what I'll do is I'll get a, um, I'm gonna get a ratchet strap, hook around there and grab to those probably, maybe one on each side. Uh, I don't really want that much crap on here when I do this because when I lift it, I don't want to sit there and have to, you know, deal with all that kind of, that's a lot of stuff. Let's see if we can get this off here. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Okay, that's off. Oh, this hose don't look too bad, to be honest with you, but we'll probably try to get a chunk if we can. The only problem is it's hard to find pieces this big anywhere around here because nobody seems to carry this shit. I'm, this might be a dealership thing, but then you go to a dealership and they say, no, we got to order it. Look, I don't have time for you to order it. I kind of need the stuff now. If you know what I mean so we'll um that's all gross so that is all gross in there we'll um we'll see what we can do I know I can get this somewhere you know this ain't a big deal this hose but looks like everything's drained out enough to now to where we should be able to pop this thing but except I got to get down there and get the one off the bottom like I was talking about, I don't want that one on the bottom, so we'll see. We will see. Well, it's about 2, 2 p.m. We're moving like a turtle in heat. Um, This freaking uh, hose down here, give me some stinking issues. So I just end up cutting it because I could not get the damn thing to pop off. And I was even pulling on right here and trying to get this guy to come off. But I couldn't get him to come off, but I'm going to... You'll get this thing come off now real quick, but um, there's a bunch of lube still up in there. So if it is, it's going to drain down in there. You know what I mean? Because I tried to ping that down with a hammer, and that's about as far as I got her to go right there. Banging her from there. But I end up cutting the hose that goes from there, and then there's that tube that goes down there, which we'll go down there in a minute. But I pretty much have this one side, the fan shroud. Can't get the damn thing undone on the bottom because I got one bolt that's stripped out. So it's going to have to come out with the shroud, unfortunately. Everything else is unhooked, though, which is fine. Take these off right here. Stick them right there like that. Uh, 10 to 15 mile per hour wind. So once I get this out, finally, I'll um, secure the cab to this guy right here and leave her overnight. Probably because I don't think this is going to be something that's going to be done like this. And if you notice something... There ain't no wood on this side like there is on the green chalk has wood on both sides. That side's got wood over there if you focus in on it right there. This side doesn't, so that's fine. We're only going to do the one side. But um, let's get up under here real quick. End up taking, cut that hose, and then I end up taking this guy off right here, that guy right there. Big Chachi's in the way, so I can't slide up under here where I can see what I'm seeing. So I got them, and there's four bolts right there that holds that thing, and then it hooks up to that guy right there. It just, boom, right over that angle, which is fine. Took that guy down because um, I wanted to be able to... I'm just, I put those bolts back on because I'm just basically going to use those when, to set on the tire when I finally get it up because I had that one all the way out, but then I was hooked on that hose, so I couldn't get it to go. So that's what's going on right now. So here shortly we'll be um, we'll be jacking her up. But I'm going to I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna get a beer because my beer is empty, and I'm gonna get something to snack on. Because wife said she already had lunch, but I didn't. Two o'clock, like I said, I'm moving like a turtle on heat. So um, I guess this is gonna be a to be continued. So if you want to see me jack this thing up, if you want to see me get this radiator out without any heavy equipment. And hopefully not mess anything up. You're going to want to come back to the Chad Keegan YouTube channel show. And um, you're going to want to see what's going on. So until the next time, you know what we say. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned because uh, we got this going on. And I'm thinking to myself while I'm doing this. You always have those thoughts that cross your mind. Man, maybe I should have just paid somebody to do this. Cause I'm gonna have to go uptown and I'm gonna have to uh, get a hose, but I'm thinking Defiance truck sale might have some of that hose. So hopefully if I'm lucky, they'll have some of that 
hose that size because I don't think AutoZone or any place like that, the most they have is like inch and a half and shit. So I have to call up Todd and see what they got over there at the Defiance truck sales and see what's going on. So until the next time, you know what we say. Thanks for watching. We will see ya.